Uh, so what am I doing today, you ask? I am headed to Oklahoma. I'm going to buy another trailer. Uh, this guy lives out of Arkansas. He's got a 2022 Big Tex, low profile, disc brakes, 12K axles, and air rod, mega ramps. Twin Rivers Hall Shots. I sold my other trailer and I love that load trail. Load trail makes a good trailer. I had no issues. The, you know, the powder coating was excellent. Hardly any issues with this trailer. The deck height, it was a regular, regular deck height, which is 38 inches. I'm needing one around 33, 34 inches. We got another line of work. It's all oversized, over height, over width. So deck height matters. I'm gonna run out here and uh, let's go look and see what this trailer looks like. What we got? 20, 22 big techs, two spares, uh, 40 foot. You can see right here, actuator. I mean, it's got disc brakes and uh, 40 foot air rod slow profile two-speed jack this is kind of nice only thing better than that it's probably a hydraulic jack dude i uh, my other one i've done it so much i have to crank it like 55 times to get it up this one i just did it it's 12. i uh, don't know why i know that number but i've done it a lot and i've actually counted those many times so that's kind of crazy but I am gonna fix that. Um, I did just mount the winch on it. That's my winch. Um, I'm gonna install a battery down in here. A deep cell battery, I already have it. Um, here's where uh, my controller goes. It's going down. I'm gonna mount a battery in here. This um, is my trailer plug, the whip and I'm going to um, tap into the 12 volt um, and put a, split it off to where it, it'll charge my battery down here, uh, put a fuse on it. And this has got Rodwell suspension. It does have the track for um, the slotting winches. I got took them off, I guess, but it's not a big deal. The track's the hardest thing um, cause you gotta weld it and then that, that it's pretty expensive too, but I did order some of those. The ones that I had on my last trailer, they, they're like the ratchet ones, disc brakes, Dexter axles, um, 16 plot tires all the way around. You can see air rod, air rod suspension. This is the, uh, ride well. And uh, it's real beefy suspension. It's got new shocks. It's got the torque tube. Pressers under here. And it's got a, I think that's a little four gallon tank right there. So that's cool, but look at that suspension. I mean, it's just beefy, new shocks. It's got the ramps on it. I did buy the, uh, the things that mount right here that have the hook and it, and it tightens those, so. I'm gonna put those on, but all in all, man, good trailer. Yeah. Number 13, Twin Rivers, field reporting. That's another one, OD. All right, so I did go buy another trailer. The reason why my last one, that low trail, awesome trailer, loved it. I bought it from a, a subscriber. But the reason why I had to get rid of it is we're starting to do a little more over dimension stuff. But also for a guy that I've been working with the last couple of years, those tanks that we put on our trailer are 10 foot, seven inches tall. When you put them on a trailer that's 39 inches in the front, it puts you right at about 14 foot. I know 14 foot is 
it's still legal, but it's only legal from Texas west. So you go Texas north and east, it's 13.6. When my truck blew up the second time, I sold it and I've just been taking my time trying to find a trailer and I found this, this big Tex. You know, I was telling one of my guys, he was like, so you basically bought a trailer, you know, for like your customers? I was like, oh, this isn't the, the first time I've done this. When I start, like when I started hauling those brooms, those sweepers that we haul, and I was telling uh, my guy Mike, I said, but do you realize like, just for making that little adjustment, I said, I got a guy picking up sweepers right now. You know, it's been well over two years. All right, boys. Truck's running good. Got the trailer. Little tarp load, testing it out. Love that Dunnage drag. I did clean that up. Painted my, uh, my, my little brackets. And we're still, but you know, by making that change and doing what I had to do, I don't even think at that time I could even really, I just, I made it happen. I figured out a way, but it paid off. We're still running loads for that guy. We've probably done over 200 loads for them. We've done 280 something loads for one of our other guys. You know, I just, I made it happen. So anyways, I had to do that again, unfortunately. Um, and it was because of deck height. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. It's been a while. I got like 10 of them I gotta catch up on. But anyways, guys, uh, appreciate all you subscribers. If you're not subscribed, like, hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button. See y'all in the next one, bye.